Council. And as is customary, our city clerk, Sue Richards, will read us the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. What the new year brings to you will depend a great deal on what you bring to the new year. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Here. Foran. Here. Carlson. Here. Decker. Here. Hammond. Here. Hammond. Here. Heidemann. Here. Koth. Here. Kittleson. Here. Matichek. Here. Raisler. Here. Samson. Here. Van Akron. Here. Vanderweel. Here. And Versi. Here. 15 present. We have a quorum now. If we can all please stand and join Alderman Belt in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Fred. Looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting, President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the minutes. Second. Motion and a second to approve the minutes under discussion. There is no discussion. All in favor of approving the minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have no resignations this evening, no mayor's appointments this evening, and no public forum this evening. Under mayor's announcements, first of all, I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, it is a new year, new calendar year. Looking forward to it, and I hope everybody is, else is also. Um, from our building inspection department, um, persons that have vacant properties in the city of Sheboygan under a new ordinance approved by the Common Council need to register these properties with the Building Inspection Department. This information will be used by city departments that may be impacted by a vacant building. The purpose of this registry is to bring efficiencies between the departments in that information on the vacant property will be readily available. On online submittal of the application is available on the city's website at www.cityofsheboygan.info and that is the preferred method of submittal of registration. Any questions uh, can be directed to the Building Inspection Department at 4593477. There is no charge for registering properties. However, under the new ordinance, after a uh, couple of months down the road, if people have properties that are not registered, uh, there can be fines levied against those properties that are not registered. So it's just a, uh, an additional notice. This has been published already too, I believe. Um, just so if you have properties that are vacant in the city that we get those registered, uh, it will help everybody involved. Um, Sue has some announcements. Yes, I do. Thanks, Mayor. Um, just a couple of announcements for property taxes. Uh, we just wanted to remind the public that the city of Sheboygan property taxes should be paid at any one of the four branches of uh, Community Bank and Trust. They should go there, or they can drop it off in the silver drop box out in front of our building here at 828 Center. So we wanted to remind everybody about that. Um, a couple of things that we need to remind people of regarding the elections coming up. Um, there's been some confusion, and we will have some issues to work through for the first few elections with the change of all the wards, districts, et cetera, and polling locations. Um, we were pretty well swamped today. We had several articles in the paper over the weekend about new polling places, et cetera. And I found that the easiest way, and I would strongly encourage people that have access to a computer, if you look in front of the mayor's podium here, um, it is a state website. It's http colon forward slash twice VPA, which stands for Voter Public Access, Dot wi dot gov. It's so easy to do. It's a one-step thing. Going onto our website is great. We have the maps and the districts, but you kind of kind of have to match what it is until we get that whole thing together. So I would suggest that you go onto the site if you have a computer or access to one. It you literally put your last name, first name, birth date. You click enter, and it brings up your record, and you click on your name, and it tells you exactly where you vote, what your new ward is, et cetera, et cetera. It even has a sample ballot for the January 17th election, so you'll know what the ballot looks like. And again, that website is? <laughs> We're going to be repeating this throughout the night. It's http colon forward slash forward slash vpa, as in Victor, Paul, Ann, dot wi dot gov, as in Victor. And for the folks out in TV land, um, Kerry is going to be focusing in on this several times throughout the meeting. So if we can uh, 
you know, folks can write that down. Uh, we can call the city clerk's office. However, they are swamped with calls and it is uh, very difficult for them to get back to these to those calls at this time with everything going on. So we strongly encourage people to use this website. I used it myself this afternoon. It's very simple. And obviously we're there to help people. Some people, there's, a, there's quite a few people that don't have computers or access to. They are certainly welcome to call us and we will help them out with where they're gonna vote. Mm. Um, the other thing that I just wanted to touch on briefly is today at five o'clock was the deadline for handing in uh, candidates' papers for the aldermanic races. And we are set to go, but there is one announcement in the fourth district. Um, Alderman Sampson has decided not to run. Therefore, as an incumbent, um, I need to make a three-day extension for District 4 only. That means that on Friday at 5 o'clock, there are three days up to that point that anyone in District 4 can take out their, they can declare candidacy, take out their papers, get their signatures, and get it back to us by five o'clock, and that will count. So if there are any questions on that, it is strictly for District 4, because there's an incumbent that is not running. And we wanted to make sure now, District 4, just for the public, is bordered to the north by Superior Avenue, to the west by South 14th Street, to the south by Georgia Avenue, and obviously the east is Lake Michigan. So if anyone has any questions, call our number and we'll help you get through that process. But it is only a three-day window, so the deadline would be 5 o'clock now on Friday. And that's it. Okay, and that website again is? <laughs> the website is http uh, colon two forward slashes vpa.wi.gov or give us a call at 459-3361. Okay, thank you, Sue. Thanks. Moving on to the consent agenda, 19-1 through 19-7, President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that all our roles be accepted and placed on file, all our C's be accepted and adopted, and all ordinances be passed. Second. We have a motion and a second on the consent agenda. Under discussion? If there is no discussion, all in favor? A roll call, please. Excuse me. That's all right. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manachek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Versi? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Reports of officers 2, 19, 8 through 19, 13 to be referred. Alderman Boren? <coughs> Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I'd like to pull forward. Document number 1911, please. Okay, number 1911 uh, by the city clerk submitting a citizen complaint from Patrick Gillette against Mayor Bob Ryan being referred to the Committee of the Whole. I would like to make, make a motion to refer that to the uh, special prosecutor, Stephen Biskupic, versus the council's attorney, uh, Joseph Volkner. Second. We have a motion and a second to refer that to the special prosecutor Biskupic, thank you, Alderman Boren. Under discussion, Alderman Carlson. Nothing under discussion. Nothing? Any further discussion? There is no discussion. Um, roll call. Do not want to try it otherwise. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Can I, Mayor, just say that I'll abstain. Let's do a roll call. Let's do a roll call. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Abstain. Manichek? Abstain. Raisler? Aye. Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. 13 ayes, two abstentions. Motion carries. Alderman Carlson, did you have something? Yes. I'd like to make a motion to file this. I don't think there's any need to take this to committee of the whole. I believe it was just uh, referred to committee. Or I thought it was to the uh, Okay, it attorney. was referred to the special prosecutor, not to the committee of the whole. So you're making a motion to file it? Yes, because I don't think there's a need to take it to the committee of the whole. Can we have a motion to file the document? and not send it to the Committee of the Whole. We have a motion, is there a second? Second. 
We have a motion and a second under discussion. Alderman Boren. <coughs> Thanks, Mayor. Uh, that was kind of the idea, Alderman Carlson, is that uh, <coughs> in lieu of sending it to the committee of the whole, is forwarded on to the attorneys, uh, depending on what they, they uh, intend on doing with it, uh, it may want to be sent back to the committee of the whole based on their advice. So I wouldn't recommend filing it at this time, but at this time I don't want to send it directly to the committee of the whole because probably the committee of the whole would just end up sending it to the attorneys anyway. So I would rather keep the document open based on what we hear from the attorneys after it's referred to them. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Any further discussion? There is no further discussion. We will vote on the motion to file. Um, as opposed to sending the committee of the whole, an I vote would file, a no vote would send it to the committee of the whole. Correct? No. Or a no vote would just leave it out there. And, yeah, and we're just forwarding it on to. And forwarding it on, but okay. Steve. Okay. Steve? I don't know. <laughs> Technically, if you know, you've already acted on a motion on this document, it's been dealt with. If you want to do something else with it, you should make a motion to reconsider uh, before you do something else with it. Otherwise, you've decided to send it to the special prosecutor and you can't do that and file it. So, uh, my opinion, it's not on the floor unless somebody, unless there's a motion and everybody agrees to reconsider it or there's majority to reconsider it. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'll make a motion to reconsider this document and uh, forward the document itself to the attorney and file the document as not going to the committee at all. Second. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to reconsider. Um, under discussion just on reconsidering. Right. Just on reconsidering. Just on reconsidering is the discussion. If there is no discussion on reconsidering, we will take a roll call. And I vote would be to reconsider it. Okay. Um, You're right, I jinxed it. Carlson. Aye. Decker? No. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Nope. Koth? No. Kittleson? Epstein. Matichuk? Aye. Excuse me? Aye. Uh, Raisler? Aye. Sampson? No. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? No. Belt? No. And Boren? No. Six eyes, eight noes, one abstention. Motion fails to the prosecutor, it goes. I'm sorry, who did make the second on Alderman Raisler's motion? Thank you. Okay, moving on. That was a consent agenda. That one was pulled out, so we will do consent agenda, or not consent agenda, excuse me, matters to be referred. Um, to do, to do, reports of officers 2, 19, 8 through 19, 10, and 19, 12, and 13. Okay, those matters will be referred. Resolutions introduced 3, 1914 by Alderman Raisler accepting the agreement with Sheboygan Professional Police Officer Supervisory Association 2012 through 14 and authorizing the Collective Bargaining Committee and the Chairman of the Committee on Salary and Grievances to sign the agreement. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. Alderman Boren. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Chairman Raisler, was this... Uh, agreed to contract made public so that the alderman had a chance to look at it before we uh, vote on it, on it uh, voting for the approval? I believe we discussed that uh, with the committee of the whole. The contract. I don't we're know. Voting on the, we're voting on the agreement the, the, for the wages and benefits, not the whole contract itself. We're, we're voting on the negotiation committee of what we negotiated with the police supervisors. And we did discuss that, and I believe so Mr. Moore <coughs> we presented a, a, a synopsis of what it was and what our tentative agreement was for. 
Okay, that was. This is basically taking the agreement and making it not tentative and making it binding. So that was uh, part of that was that they agreed to pay it to the Wisconsin Retirement Fund, and if I remember correctly, then right. mm -hmm. some more into the insurance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Any further discussion? There is no further discussion. Roll call, please. Decker. Aye. Common. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Matuschek. Aye. <clears throat> Excuse me, Racer. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Bercy? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Carlson? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 1915 will be referred to law and licensing. Reports of Committee 6, 1916, by law and licensing, recommending denying beverage operator's license number 9374, based upon her failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on her application, her record of violations related to the license activity, and her record as an habitual law violator. Alderperson Vanderweel, please. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. <clears throat> We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt under discussion. Is Mercedes Sprangle here? She is here. Okay, please the, continue. Uh, the committee did deny her license three to zero. Um, there was a negative recommendation from the police department. She has um, retail theft, disorderly conduct, underage alcohol, um, and then more recently, OWI in 2011 <coughs> and two pending OAO, um, operating after revocation. And there is also, um, the police department had found two things that the um, attorneys didn't find, which was underage in 2010 and a resisting and obstructing in 2010. And okay. she's been at her current position for two weeks and her job before that was four months. So she really hasn't been bartending for all that long. Okay. Thank you, Alderperson <laughs> Vanderwill. Would you like to speak, ma'am? If you'd like to speak, please come up. Can you give me your name again? It's Mercedes. Yes. And last name? Sprengel. How do you spell it? S-P-R-E-N-G-E-L. Okay, go ahead. Well, I know I have a colorful history, but I'm currently working really hard to change my life and actually become a productive person. I start school this month, and I've got really good people around me now to help me, you know? I got my family back, and I'm really trying hard. Are there any uh, questions from the council? Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, where are you going to be working with this license? Uh, I currently work for Tommy at Vibes Bar. Vibes Bar? Yes. Where is that located? Uh, South 8th Street. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. Any further questions? Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Maybe your employer can answer. Is your employment contingent upon this, or can she work under the bartender's current license that are there? Yeah, she, she's able to work. We can schedule her to work for her. She's already working with somebody with, with a bartending license. So that maybe she can kind of get her feet on the ground again and, and come back if we do deny it that another time to say, I've done this and I've, I'm working for you yet. And I, I was going to ask that I could you know, add to that. And yeah, sir, would you like to step up? We can have your, your name, please. I'm Thomas Lloyd, L-L-O-Y-D. I'm currently the manager uh, slash uh, um, partner with the Vibes Bar. Um, I met Mercedes not too long ago. Um, she sat down with me, explained it to me quite a, her very colorful history where many of us in our lives had when we were much younger, including myself. Uh, she has since, um, she's not around the people that she was around before. Um, she currently has a very decent boyfriend with a job. Um, she lives on her own. She's employed by me. Um, we watch over her. We have very, very little drinking with my bartenders, if, if, if any at all. Uh, she came to me telling me about all this before I, right, right about the same time we were hiring her. And uh, I would like to personally just take her under my wing, give her her start, um, help her out, help her along. Um, if in, I mean, naturally, she's responsible for herself, and if she decides to get herself into any more trouble. However, as far as working at Vibes, I think it's a good opportunity for her to make some money. She needs the money. She needs to pay her bills. Um, I think she's in the right direction. Um, she's back with her mother. 
spending time with her mom and her family and stuff like that. Um, uh, drug free, alcohol free, uh, those kinds of things. And as far as I know, so I would like to uh, extend my uh, responsibility to her. I anyone. guess what I'm getting at is in the event that the license is, is not approved, she still has a job, she can work, get her feet on the ground, and maybe come back next year or the next time around just to, to show Yes, I was hoping maybe, a, maybe one year. Could we do one year? In the license year? renewal, I believe, is normally in June. Right. Yes. So okay. I mean, even within that period of time that she can kind of, you know, start a track record, start it over again. Sounds good. Thanks. Thank you, Alderman Raisler. Thank you, folks. Any uh, further discussion? <clears throat> there is none. Roll call, please. Please explain what. Uh, and I vote would be to deny at this time. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? No. Matichak? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 14 ayes, 1 no. Motion carries. Uh, Relicensing occurs in June. Right. I would. Right. right. Make sure that the application is filled out completely and properly, and then the, the Law and Licensing Committee will, will hear it once again. Thank you. Okay, moving on. 1917 by Law and Licensing, recommending denying beverage operators license number 9384 based upon his failure to accurately, accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his application and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderperson Vanderweel. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt under discussion. Is Robert Macedo here? He's not here. Okay. Um, he had two chances to appear. He didn't um, contact us and wasn't at the either meeting, so we denied his license. Very good. Any further discussion? <coughs> there is no further discussion. Roll call, please. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichak? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Matters laid over 11, 1843 RO number, 314-1112 by the city clerk granting an application for a private well permit for Jerry Geibel, 4906 South 10th Street. President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and file under discussion. If there is no discussion, roll call, please. We can do an applies on this. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Sue. To adjourn. Uh, we have some other matters authorized by law. Check check the last page. Whoa. We have a second on that adjournment. Sorry, motion fails. Due to lack of second, Steve. Uh, document 1918 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2012, and June 30, 2013. Uh, that will be referred to law and licensing. 1919 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Douglas Byerly requesting a marked handicap spot in front of his home at 1028 Grand Avenue, and there is great difficulty parking within two blocks of his home when North High School is in session. Will be referred to public protection and safety. 1920 is an RO by the Deputy Finance Director Treasurer submitting the Harbor Center Marina balance sheet from operations dated November 30, 2011, as submitted by Skipper Marine will be referred to the Marina and Harbor Committee. Chair. President Both Decker. <laughs> Motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>